Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, or some people call me B. On my channel, I talk about lifestyle self-development, my starting over diaries, and living with PCOS. Also, bear with me with the hair. I'm trying to figure out this natural hair thing, but y'all, it be making me fight for my life. Like, I almost didn't record this video because I ain't got my hair done, and we're not finna do that. We're not finna let little things stop the bag. So y'all gonna have to rock with the fro <laughs> for this video, okay? So this video in particular will be part of my Dear People Pleaser series, where I talk about things I've learned during my self-reflection, and trying to unlearn people-pleasing tendencies why does it feel like all the loud stuff happen when you're trying to record i have my notes right here so bear with me so the topic of today's video is stop hanging on to familiarity familiarity how do you say that familiar familiar familiarity as i reflected at the end of 2022 i ended a seven year relationship and recently as i'm like healing because obviously it takes time to heal from a relationship that long i realized that i don't necessarily miss the person but i miss the familiarity that i felt because i've known that person for such a long amount of time i realized that sometimes it's not even the people themselves it's just that they feel familiar they feel comfortable and you know they know things about you and having to start all the way over with somebody else just feels like like a hassle it feels scary it feels like what if they not understanding what i'm doing and things like that and i feel like that's a big thing for me when i miss things i miss just not having to explain certain things or not having to explain inside jokes if we had common hobbies or whatever it is but at the end of the day i feel like that's really part of life and part of like growing and developing and something I noticed with that relationship and other relationships like friendships and things that I didn't want to walk away from is that sometimes when it's familiar, you don't think that it could be toxic or you don't notice how toxic a relationship could be just because it's, it's familiar, it's comfortable. This reminds me of when people are in certain environments, even though it's not the best environment, it's what they're used to and they'll thrive and live, well, I won't say thrive, but they'll stay in that environment and live in that environment because it's comfortable. I feel like the same thing applies to us with like friendships and family members and whoever it may be, any type of relationship just because it's familiar doesn't mean it's not toxic i also find myself doing this with friends a lot there's friends that i know that i no longer align with with my current self maybe my past self before i healed or like changed into a different season align with them but in my current season i don't align with them anymore or they do things that i know i don't align with anyway but since i'm comfortable and familiar with them and you know i just don't want to have to start up with friends I'll just let it linger. And a lot of times those friendships are also one-sided and there's no synergy within them either. When you just really start self-reflecting and think about things and why you choose to hold on to those things, I feel like you learn a lot. And for me, I'm like, stop hanging on or holding on to familiarity and comfortability just because of that. And sometimes in these situations, we hold on to the familiarity due to the fear of not being able to replace that person. Like if you're in a relationship and it's like, Oh my gosh, like like with me, I was in that relationship for seven years. That's all of my 20s, basically. I am 30, about to turn 31 in a couple months. I spent all my 20s on it. So at, at some point I felt like I was like, I'm gonna just hold on and try to make it work. I'm gonna hold on and try to make it work. Like I done wasted seven years. But at the same time, you never know what will happen. Like you might get out of that relationship or get out of that friendship and somebody new may come along in a couple months that truly, truly understands you and don't just tolerate like what you have going on or isn't one-sided or whatever it may be. So I do understand like, I feel like I'm like that too. I have the fear of like replacing people or being able to find anybody, especially since like growing up, I was very isolated. I always wanted to grow up and like have friends and have people that like pour into me like I pour into them. But you just have to sit back and realize that like you have to value yourself enough to know when to hold on and when to let go. If you've seen any of my previous talk through videos, you know I'm currently in like, I'm in a pretty tough season for me because for one time in my life, I'm actually giving everything to God and I'm not trying to like, I'm trying my best not to put my hand on stuff that I know I can't do anything about, right? So for me, I definitely understand the struggle. I've even done it with my relationships. I feel like the breakup was the first step with that because that just wasn't aligning with things. And with friendships too, like I've got distance between some friendships because it's just like, if it's one-sided, then like I can't continue to pour and pour and pour, especially when I'm empty. Like y'all see I'm empty and you still want me to pour like that. That's something's not good with that. It's <laughs> something's not good with that, right? So I'm a very, I'm in a very lonely season um, as I heal, which is rough, but I feel like it's for the best even though it's real rough and lonely and i find myself like for example i also do like cosplay and anime stuff i was like very very like active in that i kind of stepped away from it because i still love anime i still love cosplay but some of the higher up like creators or whatever people even anybody in the community the things that they would let people get away with i didn't agree with so i stepped away for from it for now because it's not really aligning with what i'm trying to do and a lot of the people over there 
are only really worried about like cloud and like growing and it's very like shallow and narrow-minded i guess is what i'm trying to say so although i'm still in that community i had to step away from it for this season because it just ain't aligned and it aggravates me more than anything um i can't stand performative fake just worried about getting big and getting clout people so that's a good example of that for me so like I was saying, I was in so many like one-sided relationships or ones that didn't align or lacked synergy. And you have to remember that sometimes who you're connected to can block your blessings or block your progress or whatever you have going on. And that's something to think on too. Like how many times in the past have you been close to doing something and then something happened or you did something for someone or you got caught up in something with somebody else and it delayed what you were working on. That's a big point. Like you don't want who you're connected to to block your blessings just because they're familiar. So yeah, after pondering on this and self-reflecting on this topic for a while, I realized I am doing the right thing. Even though it's uncomfortable, sometimes you have to get uncomfortable before your breakthrough. I feel like most people go through an uncomfortable time before they see, you know, reap the benefits or whatever. So I'm in a very uncomfortable season. And like, for, for example, with this, I feel like I'm being driven to like share these videos and stuff like that just to help somebody else that may be able to watch it. But it's uncomfortable there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of things i worry about even though i'm trying not to worry about them but just be you know be aware of those type of things and i also wanted to remind anyone that's in a similar season that you're not alone and you're gonna make it through it and it's okay it's okay to feel lonely it's okay to be in this season know that you need to be in this season and still feel and still feel lonely and still grieve those relationships and stuff like that because some people you really care about you can care about people a ton without them caring about you at all not saying that that's what your relationship is but it's okay to grieve relationships and to feel like that during this time period it's okay i see you i feel you but we got this <laughs> My suggestion is to take this time to self-reflect, truly love on yourself, rest, relax, find the things that you're truly interested in, find new hobbies, try, try to go into different environments and stuff like that because you never know who you would attract or who you will meet. It, it's hard, but don't let familiarity keep you in a box, especially attached to people that you don't really need to be attached to. It's okay to step out of the box. It's okay to not reach out and like, like me, I feel like I'm taking a period where I'm not really trying to connect or be close to anybody right now. Even though I really want to, I just feel like it's not that part in my journey where I need to be connected to people because I still have things I need to heal from. But it's okay to still be social. It's okay to go outside and like try to refine what you like. Like for me, I'm getting back into beauty and lifestyle and stuff. I stopped doing that and I, st I really enjoy it. I really enjoy like doing that type of stuff. So I'm going to, you know, try to figure out where I belong with my content creation space and stuff like that. And I'm wishing y'all the same. I just want to reassure you guys that you're not alone. It's a lot of people that are having silent struggles and it's okay in adulthood to be struggling to get relationships. It's okay with in adulthood to be trying to figure out their dating scene, it's to figure out your friend circle, to not have a friend circle, to be solo dolo until you can find what works for you. That's part of life. That's part of the journey and everybody's journey looks different and I have to constantly remind myself that and I'm here to remind you that as well. So just remember it's tough out here but you're not going through it alone and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're interested in what I've been up to lately or my last uploads, I will have them over here somewhere or in the end screen. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like this type of video so I can know to create more of them. And that's it, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Okay, bye.